looking for a good Minecraft server host? Why not choose the best? VOServe.com Hey guys, welcome back to Tech King Game Chorn again, and today we're we'll looking at the Herobrine AI, like real Herobrine, I guess, uh, plugin. This is made by Jakub1221, and as you guys can see, he's been actively developing it, so I'm hoping that he will be for a while. And it's got a bunch of commands, well not a bunch, but it's got a lot of configurable things and features that Herobrine can do, so we're going to take a look at most of these today, if I can get Herobrine to actually do these. To download, it's really simple. Hit the download button. You get the newest version of it, and you hit download. I'm on uh, Chrome, so I just hit keep, and it'll pop up over here. Now, I'm on a Mac, obviously, so basically just like any other plugin installation, you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to open up Finder, and you're just going to go ahead and drag the the jar that it comes with it right here into the plugins folder and I've got other ones in here whatever then you go ahead and you start up your server when you start command I've already got one running so we're not going to do that if you want to do it in game already you can just do slash reload it doesn't matter whatever you want to do then once you've done that you go back to plugins and you see we got a folder we open up the config and you see what we've got here. Now we're going to run over each of these quick, quickly. Um, first of all, the config, obviously. So show interval. This means it's how often he will uh, show himself to people. The show rate is how often. If you actually look here, it'll tell you exactly what these mean. Show interval. What interval should hair run generate a target is for the interval. And then show rate is the chances to target to generate. Hit player, if they can hit him and kill them. I have that. True. Send messages, if they can send him messages. True. Lightning, if they can. Go ahead. Oh, you can see he already killed me back there. Um, if lightning will strike when he attacks you. Destroy torches, if he can destroy torches. If he can destroy torches, what radius can he destroy them in once he starts killing you? Worlds, what worlds he can haunt people in. Maybe you don't want it in the creative world, just this realm world, whatever. Totem explodes. Uh, if... The totem, I'll tell you what, exactly what the totem is in a second. Only walking mode, uh, which means that. Yeah, sorry. What that basically means is that if Herobrine can walk randomly, randomly in the world, but not actually haunt people, actually like destroy them or kill them. Build stuff is if they can actually build things in the. Uh, if they can place redstone torches or they can create caves. They, I haven't seen them doing too much of this, but you know, they do nonetheless. Play signs, they can place signs. Yes, I've seen them do this. Use totem. I'll show you guys what that is in a second. Write books. True. That means that they can put books inside of chests. If you enable this to be true. Okay. Uh, killable. If he can be killed. Messages. Um, basically, this is what he'll type in the chat before he goes to kill you. Side messages are things that he can write on the sign. So we can, we're going to go ahead and put in testing for video. Just to see if he'll say it. Book messages. What he'll put on books. I'll do the same thing here. Testing for video. And I haven't seen him actually write any books yet. He's not been very good on that. But whatever. Testing for video. And okay. If he's killable. Then this is the drop that he'll drop when he gets killed. Oops. So we'll go ahead and hop in game after saving. File save and reloading the server. And we'll go ahead and hop in game. Okay hey guys, welcome back. Now we're in game and we're gonna look at some of the features in game. So, first of all, we've got chests here because they're supposed to be he's supposed to be able to place books in people's chests that are saying those messages that we sent said earlier. We are just in this open space here. I'll look at what the totem thing is in a second. Um so let's look at the commands first of all. If we do slash HB help, it'll list all the commands that we can actually do. Now, the first one we're going to look at is just HP reload. Basically, what this is going to do is going to reload the configuration file so that you don't have to reload the entire server and back out the entire server. Such HP position will actually tell you where in the world he's at. And when he's not haunting someone, he's not going to be... He's actually going to be in a place where you can't actually go. If you go down there, you'll actually be in the void and you'll die. So, when he's not haunting someone, that's where he tends to be. Next is, uh, we'll go ahead and do slash hp haunt. 
Final Dag 500. Now, I had canceled him earlier, we'll get to that in a second, but otherwise he'd choose a random person to haunt. Okay, now he's gonna start haunting me. Now, I'm gonna turn to my Minecraft volume to make sure they're up here. You can actually hear that scary noise that he actually made. God. And you can hear him placing and breaking blocks, and it's just really kind of creepy. Now, this moment, he will not hurt you. He's just gonna kind of scare you by placing random blocks. And placing random things. So, we'll go ahead and give him a couple seconds here. See if he does place anything or not. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to place down some torches here. Because when, does, when he does start to attack me, he's going to hopefully remove these torches. Which what he's supposed to be doing. Now, while he's haunting you, he may decide randomly to start attacking you. If not, you can just do slash HP, attack, and then aim. Now, he's actually already haunting me, so we're going to do slash HP, cancel, which basically means he's going to stop haunting me. And if we- oh god, now he randomly started attacking me. Okay, so you see he moved all these torches here. Now, he's going to be here. You get all these weird effects. Lightning, you can hear the thunder. Now, let's see if we can find him here. You actually see his skin. We can find him. Actually, I'm giving me the goosebumps right now, trying to see him. See, he's where these puff of smokes keep on disappearing at. It's really hard to. Okay, so now we can do such HP. Oh, okay. We're good now. And what we can do is when he's attacking us, which you guys saw, he actually removed these torches here. And so that means he does remove the torches properly. He didn't put anything in the chest, but as you guys see, he actually just put that that sign there. And I, I swashed and put it. And it actually says testing for vid, which is what we put. And obviously testing for vid was actually too long, so it cut it off. So just letting you guys know now, you only have the length of one line on a sign for it to work. I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna turn it down so I can actually turn around faster and see him because I really want to see him. So you guys can actually see here. So make sure all the you know information is at the lowest settings, just so I can turn around really fast. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make him attack me, and hopefully I'll be able to see him. There he is. You see him? You see him right there? Ready? Turn around. He appears behind you. And you like you get this like jittery moment here. You can, like see like a little jittery moment which means he like is behind you look oh there he is and i can't seem to kill him even though i do have it activated in the config i don't seem to be able to kill him and actually he will destroy these torches like we said before now i don't know if he'll do it in the middle haunting you or only at the beginning i think the whole idea behind that is just like the scare you like in the darkness oh there he was again but guys what you can do is actually drink milk to stop him from attacking you or you can just do slash HP cancel for it to work. I haven't seen him put any books in the chest yet, so that can be either just that it's bugged out, or that he just doesn't feel like doing it right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the totem. The totem basically it summons Herobrine. It's made like this. He's still attacking me, by the way. Or he's like haunting me. The totem's made by this. Just like that. Got one here. And what you're going to do is you're going to light it on fire. Now, I have the config set to automatically blow up, so it's going to blow up. Blows up. He projects you and give you a message. Fear me. Could have said testing for video. Send you a random message. Pretty cool. You got all these effects here. It's going to attack you just like he did before. He removed these torches, like I said, because it's in the radius that I specified. Um, I can't seem to be able to ever hit him. But if I go ahead and go in game mode uh, S here, I'm actually already almost dead. He can actually kill me while I'm in creative, which is the funny part. If I go back to creative here, he'll actually still kill me. I'm not looking at him here. I'm going to let him kill me here. Nope, the haunting was over. Well, he can actually still kill you, which is kind of weird. I don't know if that's intentional or not. And he will automatically just haunt some weird person on the server, freaking them out. 
placing the signs in books that you have specified. So it's a really cool plugin, guys. It's good for just a friend's server, just hanging out with people. You have a whole hairbrand test-based server. Don't know. It's just a really fun plugin to play around with, and I kind of want to speak my friends out with this, so I might just do that. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been Tech King Games. Please come over and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe if you like the video, because I will definitely be doing more plugin tutorials in the future for plugins that are awesome and people will like to see, but they're a little bit complicated that you gotta have a little bit of a guidance to it. And I will also um, be taking requests, so if you guys want a specific plugin done, I will of course do that for you guys. So please count and subscribe, like I said, it helps me out a whole bunch. So thanks for watching. Bye.